Hey, it's Ariane. Welcome to a seven Python tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you something about lists. A list is pretty much something where you can store data in. Yeah, I'll just give you an example. Like, you want to store some hello messages. Yes. Just use this side. Use this for creating a list. And string, string, um, hi. Comma, string, string, hello, comma, string, string, hi. Hit enter and Python saves your string. Uh, I mean list, sorry. Um, so if you want to print out hi, hello, or hi, um, just type hello. One. Oops. Hello, one. Hello. Because um, hi is zero, hello is one, and hi is two. So if you want to point, print out hi, just type hello, zero. Gives you hi. And if you want to print out hi, just type hello, two. Gives you hi. You don't have to use strings, you can use numbers as well. So just create a new list called numbers. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops, this is not really a good example. Yeah, just create a new list called numbers or something. We go from 0 to 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Because if you want to print out a list, just use number. One gives you one. And if you want to count backwards, like going from, se going from 7, just, uh, just like number negative one so seven is negative one six is negative two five is negative three etc okay so there's something in this it's called slicing like you go from one to three it gives you one two three yeah I'll just show you A number going from zero to Five issue zero one two three four. Um, well, I typed five here, but that doesn't mean he prints out five because you're going from zero to four. So if you want to print out zero to five, you have to type number zero six. Gives you zero to five. Um. You can also use negative numbers with this, like number negative 4, negative 1, 4, 5, 6. Because it goes from this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. It goes from negative 4 to negative 1, and 7 is negative 1. So it gives you 4, 5, 6. So if you're trying to print out number from negative one to negative three, it wouldn't make any sense because Python doesn't give you an answer. Um, so if you wanna go to the end of your list, just type number zero till nothing, just find nothing here, go print just prints out your whole list. You can also do this with negative numbers. So just use number negative one. Write nothing here and print it out. Well, it gives you a seven. Oh, sorry. Number go from negative one to negative eight. 
Oops. It doesn't make any sense too. Sorry, sorry. Uh, just go from negative 8 till nothing and print out the whole list. Sorry. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much how you can use slicing in Python. Um, of course, it works with strings too, like string is A, B, C, string negative one. If you see, so you can also use it with strings. And yeah, this is pretty much how you can use slicing and trading lists. So in my next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to edit lists, like um, uh, deleting them or something like that. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial.